Holy crap, you guys. Holy crap. We got some news. This is Zach here, and uh, I'm about to freak the hell out because I just got word that the Ancient Gear Gadget deck and the OCG just got a little bit of news, and this is all going to be fresh to me. I haven't read any of the cards yet, so you're going to hear my authentic reaction. So it says, uh, featuring the cards from the new Ancient Gear Gadget deck. Um... I think it's called Machine Restructure or Revolution. Okay, so there's the box art, tiny little one right there. It's got the new guy on there. Oh, shit. It's a new Gadgeltron Dragon. Okay, so Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. Level 9 Earth Machine. 3,000, 3,000. Okay, let's see these effects. Let's see these effects. If this Tribute Summoned card that was Tribute Summoned by a tributing an Ancient Gear monster attacks a Defense Position monster, inflicts Piercing Battle Damage. Okay, all right. I get that. That's good. Okay. So if it was tribute summoned by tributing a gadget monster, this card can attack twice during the battle phase. Already, that's pretty great too. Okay, uh, if this card declares an attack until the end of the damage step, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monster cards or activate spell or trap cards. That's a little bit better than the original Ancient Gear effect. All right, let's see the last one. If this card, at the end of the damage step, when this card attacked, you can target one spell or trap on the field, destroy it. Okay, um, I like this card a lot. I don't know what else support, so I'm going to keep going. I'll go back and I'll do a little uh, opinion on after everything finishes up. Next one, Ancient Gear Gadget. Whoo! Oh, we're fusing Ancient Gears and we're fusing gadgets? Jeezy Pete's. All right, let's see. We've got level 4 Earth Machine type effect monster, 500 attack, 2,000 defense. Okay, so it's got a big booty. If this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can declare a monster, or you can declare a card type. When your monsters attack this turn till the end of the damage step, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of the declared type. Dang! Holy crap, that's good! Like, just in a gadget deck, because you could just, like, pop this guy out with the gold-silver gadget guys, and then stun them for traps, stun them for spells, and then just start swinging in with all your stuff. Okay, uh, un unintentional ABC union support, right? Okay, uh, next up, once per turn, you can declare the name of a gadget monster until the end of the turn. This card's name becomes the same as the declared monster. All right, I can see that being a thing with the original Gadgeltron Dragon. You can kind of turn them into red, yellow, or green or something for a tribute summon. All right, next up, Ancient Gear Catapult, normal spell card. You can only use either effect... You can only use either effect of Ancient Gear Catapult once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can target a face-up monster you control, face-up card you control. Destroy that card, and if you do special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. Shit. There comes a freaking banish this card in your graveyard, then target a face-up card you control, destroy that card, and special summon an Ancient Gear token. Okay, so um, you can only use either effect. So you can't do both in the same time. But, this is nuts, you can get the golem out, who's really freaking scary, or you could just skip everything and make this big girl, and just start swinging in with him. Okay, so the thing is, you have to target a face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon an ancient gear monster from your deck and during the summoning conditions. Okay, you have to control no monsters, which means this doesn't, this can't work with the Yang Zing stuff, but, anyways. And then it says Gear Town and Gadgeltron Dragon are getting a reprint, that makes sense. Alright, let's go back to the top. This guy being a level 9... Makes it a little bit harder to work with in terms of uh, getting them out, circling, cycling. This is not all the stuff that's new from the set. This is just the stuff that got spoiled in the manga and the V-Jump. Uh, so let's say, I would assume there's probably going to be stuff that, let's say, either allows you to get an extra normal summon or tribute summon while you have an ancient gear monster in your hand. Let's just say that. Um, this card can swing twice, pierces, pops back row, and is an Armades. So... What's not to love? Also, 3,000, 3,000? Jeezy Pete's. Um, gadget, Ancient Gear Gadget. I like this card. I'm going to try and test it out when it gets put on uh, YGO Pro. This Ancient Gear Gat Catapult just freaking seems nuts. Like, banish this card from your graveyard, then, you know, just target a face-up card you control, destroy it, special summon Ancient Gear token. So, like, not just that. Like, you can just go, oh, this card's in my graveyard. I'm going to banish it, target a face-up card I control, like Gear Town, pop it, get a token, effect, get another monster out, tribute both, summon out a dude, I don't fucking know, like, just welcome to pain. Damn, dude, this is this is nuts. I like these cards. I like these revealed cards so far. I am pretty stoked for whenever this comes into the TCG. I want me some new Ancient Gears. I've been nuts and wanting them for a while. I love Ancient Gears. I used to play old 
Gear Town variant with Skill Drain, Beast King, Barbaros, and the Malefics. I called it Sin City because back in the day the Malefics were called Sin Monsters. I was playing it on De uh, Dueling Network. But uh, that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and all that stuff. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. This is Mystic V signing off.